How's it going, serious ma'ams and thems? Um, so today I want to show you guys this cool tool that I made, which can um add background images to your menus of your choice. So I'm just going to get straight to the point. And basically, how this works is that you drag a picture of your choice and you drag this folder called the background image right over here. But the problem with that is that you have to make sure that the dimension is either um 832 by 456 if you want to get the best results and to make sure that your picture is not distorted when you um um add the picture to the background menu also the file size which is very important has to be around this um size it has to be approximately that size or less otherwise the game will crash anything higher than this will most likely crash the game so yeah so be careful of that but one problem that you may realize is that my wallpaper is 4 megabytes, which is way above um, 727 kilobytes. However, I found an online tool that can reduce the file size, which I want to show you guys how that works. So basically, you go to the site, which I will post a link in the description and in the readme over here. Anyways, so what you want to do is that you want to drag this wallpaper or whatever you have your picture called. You want to drag it to this website. In this case, my picture is the infamous background wallpaper that I have right now. And you want to set to the width to 832 or um, it could be 700, doesn't matter. But for the best results, let's go with 832. And once you have that done, you just click on resize image. And over here, you will get the size after it's been reduced, which in my case, it's 151, which is good. The smaller the image is, the better it is. So yeah, that, that's cool and all. Anyways, so once you have that downloaded, you just go to your downloads folder and um, drag the picture to the background image. And so now we have that completed. We can run this tool by double clicking over here called custom background menu modifier. And you'll be prompted with five options. One of them, the first option being add a background image which is um, pretty straightforward on how that works. The second option, which can um, hide or make the background models visible. Yeah, you know, the trophy, the flag, whatever. You can hide that if you don't want that to be disrupting your background image. The third option, um, pretty straightforward. It extracts the background image of a file. However, that only works if the file has been patched with this patcher. So just a heads up. And for the fourth option, you know how in the menus you have like top and a bottom side of the screen you have those white borders so let's just say you added a background image that removes the borders well you can use the fourth option to restore those borders but the cool part about this is that um so let's just say um you have this cool border that you made on your menu and you want to restore that well basically this patcher saves those borders um to this workbench folder and you can always restore those if you want to like i guess use them again so that's cool you can have you, you can read more of that information in the readme and um you click on the fourth option that will also explain how all of that stuff works and the fifth option pretty straightforward it removes the background images it restores the background model the visibility and of course it restores the borders so yeah i'm just going to be using the first option so i'm just going to be pressing one and you'll be given three options, which is to change the background only. And then the second option, it changes the background and removes the borders. And the third option, which is the second option, and it adds like a shade around your screen so that it makes your um, menu more readable. I would recommend using the third option just because um, in case you have like a background image that has like a lot of stuff going on, it makes the menu more readable. Anyways, so I'm just going to be using the third option. So I'm just going to be pressing three. And if you, you will also be asked if you want to like hide the background models, which in my case, I want to hide them. So I'm just going to be pressing yes. And yeah, I'm just going to let this run for a little bit, which takes about 30 seconds or depends how fast your computer is. So yeah, I'm just going to let this run for a while. You could just press any key to continue. And the cool part about this is that let's just say something went wrong with your files. You can always go to the backups folder over here and you can always restore the files in case 
one of these files became corrupted or whatever. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Now now let's just um test to see if it works. If this works. So I'm just gonna be dragging these files to my myself folder. So now if we go to the settings, um, you will see that the background menu has in fact changed to the wallpaper that I have in my list of background. So now if we also go to the license settings, that also has been changed. Including the menu, the, men the multiplayer screen. And uh, the character selection screen. And yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much about it. And as, you, and as you guys can see, the um, the background model has also been removed, or rather hidden from the screen. Also, you may realize that the background image does look a bit ugly, looks distorted. That's to be expected. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this. If the quality is higher than what it's supposed to be, the game will crash. So there's, no, there's nothing much I can do about it, unfortunately. That's just how fragile the Wii is. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any more questions on how this works, uh, you can just comment down below or ask in my Discord server. Or you can even email me. Doesn't matter how you contact me. If you have any requests, you can also um, comment down below. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm not great with the outro, so adios. Amen.